I am terrified of not knowing. I'm not afraid of death. I'm afraid of living my life and not knowing what's going on. To actually expose that, I mean, it's probably not as bad as I think it is. It's probably not going to be as bad as I think. But working my way up to that is very difficult. Why is it such a big deal? What is the, what is the hang up here? Exactly. Um, what am I looking for? <laughs> it's obviously, it's somewhere close, nearby. It's not far. And it's a, it's something that's not good and it's not bad. It's not loose, but it's not tight. It's not left and it's not right. Feeling like Dr. Seuss at this point. Um, what is it? It's not here and it's not there. It doesn't need to rhyme. It doesn't exist in time. There's no space that can hold it. Mm, I feel like I'm trying to do a poem. <laughs> let's not do. Let's just um, let's just feel it rather than think it. We can th we can feel our way, but we cannot think our way. Um, it, as soon as the thinking happens, it's not. It's not. Um, you know, it being, we don't want to say, okay, let's not try to define it as we're not here to, we're not, we're not knowing what it is. We're not teaching what it is. We're not saying or telling what it is. Um, we're, it's very hard to, to sit here to talk and not try to communicate or say or tell or teach or inform, you know, because I'm not, I'm not, I'm sitting here alone with a camera waving my arms around. Like, what am I doing here? Why am I here? What? Um, I'm so uncomfortable. I'm so fucking uncomfortable right now. It's ridiculous. Why? What? The air temperature is fine. I'm alive. I have, you know, discomforts in my body, but okay. Um, just, you know, just accept, just accept this. This is it. This it like, why am I yelling at myself? Like, just, it's like, this is it. Like, wh what it am I talking about? There's so many different, different uh, versions of what it is, you know? Um, Cause we're talking about the big it, as we all know what we're talking about that, but then there's a million little ones as well. So where exactly I am in that conversation is, a mystery and developing or re-establishing the curiosity that was just beaten out of me as a child might help to to rekindle a, a positive interest in the unknown rather than a fear of the unknown but it was like it was you know being curious and being open was akin to death as as I can recall in my experience. Like, it wasn't just some silly little, oh, I'm just sitting here and I'm worried about it, thinking about it. It was like, no, you opened yourself and exposed yourself in that way. You're all of a sudden playing this game with other people who wanna fucking kill you and destroy you because, well, they have their reasons. So that's just the whole survival. That's the whole like self-preservation as, as a child. And all the anger that's trapped inside me from that that's just like unexpressed rage um, that I was the world is truly it's like as a child yeah the world is, is absolutely an amazing a magical wonderful place existence is, is is wonderful and the causes and conditions and um, the conditions of life can quickly make that you know disappear but
All right. Uh, yeah. Three thirty-three. All right, I'm calling it. 